Hello dear viewers, welcome back to Cybrosis. So today in this video, I'll be talking about the planning module of Odoo 70. Planning makes a man perfect. Similarly, if you plan and do everything, everything has a, like everything will be having a very good flow. So if you are doing a project and all, it's very essential to plan everything which you have to do further in the project. So here we have a very efficient planning module inside Odoo which can help you to plan things very easily. Okay guys, so now let's move on to the planning module and see how it works. So this is the planning module, I'm opening it. And inside the planning module, you can see schedule by resource once you open it. So you, this is basically the ships, okay? Uh, the ships of different employees. Uh, this is basically filtered by resource, based on resource. Now if you just click on schedule, you can see by role, by project or by even sale order. Okay, now I show you creating one, just closing it and this is shown as week day month here now this thing is shown based on a week okay let's create a new shift okay so you can simply create an open shift and key and anyone who is free can come and take that shift okay so i'm setting a shift as 1 pm to 5 pm management and then you can choose the resource so i'm choosing abigail peterson there's a clash in the shift because that person is already assigned for some shift so I'll put Anita Oliver and then you can choose the project on which she or he has to work, okay? So let it be this particular project, the sale order item has come and if it should be repeated, means you can set this, check it and how often it should re repeat, that can also be provided. So I'm not giving any repeat and all and then you can set the date, that is from which date to which date or simply you can mention the time, from this much time to this much time, okay? Like we have already chosen the time and all. That is from this time to this time, 1 to 5, we have already chosen, right? So, if you want to save this as a template, means you can use it often. Hmm? So, I'm saving it. If you want to publish and send it, means you can do that as well. So, I've sent it. So, here we have this Anita Oliver. For her, we have scheduled one. Okay. So, all the things which are scheduled, um, you know, using different templates that is we are giving a particular time and that shift and we are putting certain resources for that shift and that will be shown over here so if i just open one shift you can see the allocated time and the you know 11 30 am to 4 that is the count of the hours is given as allocated time if you want to edit it simply click on edit okay likewise you can do that now this is this is the gantt view now you can see the calendar view of the same so this is the calendar view now inside the calendar view, you can see the different resources. So these are all different resources, okay? Uh, resources can be, you know, certain instruments or, I mean, certain tools or even employees, okay? So you can see the different shift of different days. You can see 9.30, 11.30 and all. And you have the list view of the same that is scheduled by resource. So the start time and the end time is there. That is the start and end date. Then you have the sale order item, the allocated time. The resource role and project. The role of the resource means if um, Ellie Lambert is a resource means his role is management. Okay. Similarly, this thing is scheduled here and here it mainly shows scheduled by resource. Now that's the list view and you have the Kanban view of the same. See, you have the different Kanban view that is a card like view where you have the start and end time, management and the person's photo or whatever it is. And this shift, this and following shift, all shift. If you want to edit this shift, then it has three options, whether to edit only this shift or to this and the following shift or all shifts, okay? Now, this is in draft state. This is not yet published. If you want to publish, it means you can publish and send it, okay? So, this shift has successfully been sent. So, that has been published, okay? So, that's how you publish a shift. Now, you can send it. Now, here you can see it is in published state. So that's the Kanban view. Then you have the pivot view of the uh, schedule by resource. This is the pivot view. That is the tabular view where you can see the different resources and the allocated time, working days and effective hours. Then you have the graph view. So here in the graph view, you have different resources as well as the allocated time. As you all know, you can change the measures from here. Then you have three graphs, which is we've already seen the bar chart. Then you have the line chart and the pie chart of the C. So here you have allocated time and different resources. Okay. So those are the different views. Let's go back to Gantt view. And if I'm choosing this thing and I'm going to give edit. Okay. 
so see these are the different details that is you have the role the resource this is actually an open shift if you want to assign any shift you can just choose the person and save it okay so that open shift has gone or changed okay it's not an open shift again somebody have taken that shift up okay so that's how you basically do it now that's the thing which you have to do with each of these now this showing the crane or community manager and all are different resources okay so that's how you schedule it now that's what schedule by resource means now if you go and take a look schedule by role see based on different roles that is undefined role community manager consultant crane and then you have the developer these are all different roles so here scheduling is done based on different roles okay now if you want to schedule one you can click on the cell over here so based like there is a role already there that is a resource role a resource under a role okay so, uh, clicking on that resource the cell next to that resource and from there you are opening this you can add a shift directly from here so you can choose any of these shifts and then you can add the project on which he is going to work and you have the time you can save it so that is saved over here now if you are going to publish it means edit we'll do one thing we'll change this save so that's saved okay so that's how it's done basically you have different other things as well so this is also one which we created if you click on edit you can find the details okay see you have the resource the details of all these things and if you are going to publish it click on publish and send okay so once it's published those stripes and all have gone okay so i'll show you one more thing here you can see there is a stripes over there okay a slanted stripes going to publish and send it see the stripes is gone okay see the stripes is not there anymore so the ones which are not yet published are seen with these slanted stripes okay so this is how you schedule by role okay so this the click scheduling and all is exactly the same but this shows based on role now you have one more thing which is schedule by project so this will show the scheduling by based on different projects so here you have some undefined projects you have after sale services then you have this one the office design the renovations the research and development and all so this basically shows the different shifts based on project okay and you have one more thing which is based on different sale orders okay so you have this if there is any conflict in shift and all this red color will come okay and if you click on it some changes were made since this shift was published now after publishing the shift if there are any changes made this orange color will be shown there and red color shows the conflict in shifts okay if there is any conflict in the shifts which we have created that will be shown there so that's the color which you see uh, on the top corner of the different shifts okay now for all these we have the same views which is the gantt view calendar view list view kanban view pivot view and the graph view so that's the schedules so you can see schedule based on resource role sale order and project now you can see your plan what is your shifts and all now how many open shifts are there and how many shifts are assigned to you that can be viewed over here now you have these much uh, things now this has been going now you can see there are some changes made since the shift was published okay so if you want to schedule any shift for you that is if you want to do any planning for yourself you can do that from here so if you click on new there you can see the you know shift creation has come okay you can add your shift and you can see all the open shifts over here if you want to take any of these open shifts you can easily take it so it's friday 5:30 to 11:30 or 4:30 to 8:30 i'm going to take that shift edit it and changing the resource and you can put mission admin okay and i'm saving it so i've taken that shift now that shift has come to my planning section okay now it's not published that's the reason why it comes as stripes so i'm publishing and sending it which means it's published so the shift has successfully been sent okay so that's your planning okay now you have the reporting section where you have the planning analysis 
Now here in the planning analysis, you have the different dates and the allocated hours as well as the working days. So that's the pivot table. Now, if you want to add different measures to it, you can add the hour cost or even you can add the progress percent. Okay. Then you have the remaining time and so on. So whatever measures you want, you can add it towards the planning analysis. Then you have the graph of the same where you can see the different start dates and you can see the, you know, different resources and all here. So under the measures, you can see the working days. It shows the working days of different, you know, based on start dates. And you can add or change the measures to remaining time or the allocated hours or whatever it is based on your need, you can change it. Here you have the line chart and the pie chart of the same. So for this also, you have this pivot table. Okay, you can see the allocated hours, the working days, allocated hour cost and all. Okay, so that's the reporting section. We have talked about it. Now here in the configuration, you have settings, employees, materials, roles and shift templates. Let's go to employees first. Now, these employees come from the employee module. So, you know how to create an employee and all. So, details of every employees will be there. This is the Kanban view of the employee. You have the list view of the employee. You have the activity. That is, you can schedule activity corresponding to an employee. Simply click on schedule activity. Choose an employee. Okay. So, employee is chosen. So, you can choose the plan as onboarding or offboarding. So, I'm putting it onboarding plan. Okay. This cannot be launched for this particular person. Whatever it is. So, this is how you do it. You can choose the plan corresponding to that employee and then you can schedule an activity. You all know how to schedule an activity, right? Then you have a graph. That is the graphical view of the employees. Then you can see the pivot view of the employees. And you have the hierarchy. So here you can see the different hierarchy system. Okay, you can see who the head is, who comes under who and all. So if you choose Michelle admin means there are three people under Michelle admin, all those three. Okay. So based on, you know, the the hierarchy given there, like for each person there are given underneath two people, one people, three people and all. So that hierarchy can clearly be viewed here in the planning module, that is the employee section. So that's the employees and you have this materials over there. So these are the materials like the assembly line, the continuity tester, the code, one drill station and all. So creating a material is very simple, click on new. And then you can create a material. So I'm creating a material called crane. And the default role of the material can be given. So I'll put as crane itself. And the tag is automatically come because based on the default role which we have given. The company and the working time is also given. So that's how you add materials. Then you have this roles here. So here you can see the different roles like if teacher, doctor and all. It, those can be categorized under a role. You can see developer, community manager, crane, projector, scanner, tester, IT technician. All these things comes under roles, okay? You can simply create a role by clicking on new over here. Okay, and then if I'm putting a role called a cleaner and adding the person who's responsible for it. So I add Anita Oliver. And then you can add tags over here. So if I add cleaning services office cleaning service sub okay that's added and then you can add a color also so that's how you add roles towards the planning module and finally uh before going to settings sorry we have one more thing which is called shift templates so while scheduling a shift by role by project and all you have seen different tabs called saying the different timings right 8 to 12 8, 1 to 5 well you know 8 to whatever it is so, okay so all these shift templates are basically created here okay and for different roles, this uh, shift templates can be created. If you click on new, you can add the starting time as well as the ending time. And the duration will be put it based on that or calculated based on start and end hours. Then you have the role and the project. So here you can choose the role for whom you are creating the shift template and the project for which you are creating the template. Okay. It's that simple. Then you have the configuration settings of the planning module. Here in the settings, you have this project planning as well as allow unassignment. So if you are assigned to any of the projects or any of the shift and if the employee itself, if I am assigned and if I want to unassign myself from a shift, then I have to enable this. Okay. And then it can be done. So that's allow unassignment. Then you have project planning that is plan resource allocation across project and estimate deadlines more accurately. Okay. So these are the basic things which comes under the planning module of Odoo 17. So we have detailed videos on each topic in our YouTube channel. You can go and check it out. So yeah, that's it.
So that was all about the planning module of 4 to 17. I hope it's clear for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.